Welcome to another new episode of Chucky Split on News, and I am very excited for today's episode because we have got um, a lot to talk about, and it's just uh, very exciting for me to do stuff like this, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and get things started. First of all, we're going to get some shout-outs out of the way, because that's what I do here. Meadow Matt doesn't toy around, he doesn't play around, he goes right by the throat. So here we go. And first of all, we're going to start it off with Spanky. He's a pretty cool dude with a really interesting, dark sense of humor, you know, but he's a pretty cool dude. Uh, G, really awesome person, you know, uh, just a really great person to, to talk to and get to know, so she's awesome. Uh, Chucky15, awesome, great video maker, he just released two videos today at Charles Lee Ray Tribute, and uh, Child's Play 7 fan project, and uh, both of them were pretty, pretty good, so definitely check those out if you can, he's a very talented guy. Uh, Undead Punk, um, WWE fan... Um, he hates John Cena, Usos, God knows who else, but, <laughs> but he also likes CM Punk, so that makes him alright. <laughs> but yeah, in all seriousness, he, he is a really awesome guy, you know, and, uh, he's, if you ever want to talk wrestling with him, uh, you can go talk with him, because he's just a really cool dude to talk to when it comes to that sort of stuff. And Tiffany Valentine, a great graphics maker, you know, very talented at what she does. Uh, Simon Gray, um, very talented writer as well, so really cool, cool dude. Uh, Eddie Caputo, uh, pretty cool dude as well. Which, um, an interesting person to say the least, you know, but uh, an awesome personality and uh, really cool to talk to as well. And Sweet Face, um, what can I say? Just a, a great person, great person. And uh, just if you want to talk about her with any, anything to talk, to, if you want to talk to her about anything, or you know, she's just a great person to talk to. In fact, I honestly consider her my best friend at uh, this moment. So uh, she's a pretty cool person to talk to. So definitely, um, she's definitely awesome. So that's all for the shouts. I consider all of those people my very close personal friends. And now American Horror Story. We're still going on American Horror Story. And um, this past episode was, um, I don't know quite how to say it. Uh, we got to see a lot of Dell this week, which, boo, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of that character. But, um, yeah, so, I'll just say, oh, before I get to that point, um, Jimmy saying Nirvana's Come As You Are on the episode, and I was really excited about it, because I, I really like Nirvana, I'm a rock fan, metal fan, as you all know, so it was pretty cool to see a, a rendition of that particular song. So then, spoiler alert, huge Huge spoiler alert. If you did not watch the episode, then do not go any further because it contains a huge spoiler. So Dell ends up crushing my petite. And uh, all of us were really just kind of heartbroken over that, you know, because we didn't want that character to die, you know. But, uh, yeah, so it was pretty shocking, and kind, of, kind of in a good way, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you can get really attached to some characters, you know, and all the characters on that show are really great, with the exception of a few. But, yeah, so, and unfortunately there's going to be no new AHS this week. They're taking a break, a uh, one-week break for some reason, I really don't know why. But uh, they're coming back in two weeks, so... Hopefully the wait will be worth it, and hopefully no good characters die on that one. But yeah, American Horror Story is a pretty cool show. So Christmas is still counting down the days of Christmas, and the official Christmas thread is still going on strong. And uh, just a really great, you know, thread. If you want to talk Christmas with us, then definitely come and talk because it is awesome. And Secret Santa, we're still kind of um, 
We're still kind of um, working out the details on that one. Uh, this was started up by Sweet Face, and uh, it's a pretty cool idea that we're going we're going to start in December, and it's a pretty interesting thing. So we can't wait for that to happen. And that Disney discussion thread that's still going on strong. Um, Disney, who uh, love Disney wor- Disney. What can I say? You know, I'm actually going to Disney World. Um, next week, I believe. I, I, yeah, yeah, next week. So it's that's really going to be very exciting. And uh, you're still going to get um, Chucky's Playground News. You're still going to get uh, hopefully podcasts. I'm going to try and find a way to uh, record them. I'll probably try and record them um, in advance, or if I have any free time at at, uh, at Disney World, I can try to record them there. And I think it would be really interesting to record it there. Because I recorded one in Texas, and now I can record one in Florida. So that would be like three states, you know, that have recorded, you know, news in Texas, Florida, and Louisiana, where I live. So, uh, yeah, just really, really great. But anyway, Disney, really awesome. If you ever want to talk Disney with us, that is the thread for you. So Tiffany's trailer, and we were actually discussing this, um, we were discussing this this morning, actually. And I really like Tiffany's trail. I really, really love the design of it. It really does fit her personality. Unfortunately, only a few people agree with me on that. <laughs> like, I think Tiffany Valentine and Sweet Face only agree with me on that. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, I, I, I personally think that Tiffany's trailer is awesome. But, you know, that's just me. And Survivor Series, WWE Survivor Series is tonight. And um, there's a couple of rumors going around. I have no idea if it's true or not, but a couple of certain people may appear that tonight. And uh, we've just been having a ball. At least Spanky, Undead Punk, and myself have been talking Survivor Series for the past couple of days. And uh, Survivor Series is really one of the uh, top WWE pay-per-views. Like that, the Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, and SummerSlam. Those are like the big four pay-per-views because they've been around for a very long time. They're kind of the flagship uh, pay-per-views of the WWE. So we've been having a lot of fun just talking about what might happen at Survivor Series. You know, So if you're a wrestling fan, definitely sign up so you can talk about Survivor Series with us. And Pet Cemetery. We made a thread for Pet Cemetery. And I actually watched that movie for the very first time uh, last night. And I did it at the suggestion of Sweet Face. Because uh, I think it's one of her favorite movies and she recommended it to me. So um, I watched it and it was, I really loved it. I thought it was re- very good, you know. So it's pretty, pretty good. So thank you, Sweet Face, for the recommendation. And Hatchet Series. This is a series that I really, really love. You know, I mean, just a really great series. Really, all three of them are great. I probably like the third best of all, but uh, that's just me. And the series happens to take place in Louisiana, which is uh, pretty cool. So, um, yeah, and um, I really like the character of Victor Crowley. Who's played by Kane Hodder of Friday the 13th fame. He played Jason Voorhees from Part 7, The New Blood, to Jason X. And uh, he's a pretty good um, kind of character, you know what I mean? So if you haven't seen those movies, definitely check them out. Because they're great slasher movies. And um, we don't get a lot of great slasher movies, you know, nowadays. What with the whole... Um, Paranormal activity stuff and um, psychological stuff and haunted houses and blah blah blah. You know, it's a really refreshing, really refreshing to get something like this. You know, and then Revenge of Chucky, and we have no idea if it's legit or not, but a Brad Dorf page on Facebook has seemed to confirm that. We will begin Revenge of Chucky slash Curse of Chucky 2 in 2017. And just so you know, we have, we don't really know if it's true or not. We don't really have any confirmation yet, but we are just speculating on this right now. We are, it's brought up a lot of great conversation. 
you know, and at the end of the day, that's what we are. We talk about Chucky, you know, talk about everything Chucky, you know, on Chucky's Playground. And regardless of whether or not it's true or not, it's brought up, uh, it's a good topic of conversation, you know. So if you want to talk about, you know, possible Chucky 7 news or what you want to happen or what you want to see happen in Chucky 7, definitely join up and talk with us because we, we would love to have you. So that's it for Chucky's Playground News. I thought this was a great episode, very informative. Then again, I might be a little bit biased. <laughs> but, yeah, that's it for Chucky's Playground News. If you haven't signed up yet, definitely sign up, join us, um, join in the conversation with us, because is we are just rolling on. We are probably at the best time um, of our lives right now, because we have the time of our lives on Chucky's Playground. So thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.